part that it come out from. Uh, relax. Sergeant Cherry, post. Alright, so if you haven't heard, Sergeant Cherry, oh, there he is. Okay. Sergeant Cherry has been awarded a Meritorious Service Medal. The reason he's been awarded the Meritorious Service Medal is because, does everybody remember the, uh, was it a basketball game reenlistment ceremony? It was, mass reenlistment. The ma mass reenlistment basketball same ceremony that some guy had a head on collision with the bus that everyone was on. Does everybody kind of remember that? See the memes about it and stuff? So when that happened, Sergeant Cherry exhibited the epitome of what I expect a future leader and a leader in the United States Army to do took control of the situation and helped the person that was in the vehicle in the head-on collision, rendered aid and gave out orders to those around just standing around not doing anything. There were other NCOs, NCOs that were above him, senior NCOs, standing around going, oh shit, this is crazy. That's not the type of attitude that we have in Devardi. What Sergeant Cherry did is took control of the situation and started giving out orders regardless of rank and took control and helped save this man's life. Without Sergeant Cherry, there is no doubt in my mind that that person would be dead. His family would be attending his funeral and dropping flowers off at his grave every weekend if Sergeant Cherry hadn't been there. That's the kind of attitude I expect you to have because he saw a problem. He made it his problem and he saved someone's life because of it. And because of that, he has earned the Meritorious Service Medal in every, without a doubt, because without him, that man is dead. With that, publish the orders. Attention to order! Commander Sawyer Achievement, Corporal Cherry's professional, selfless service, and dedication to duty, and contributes to the legacy of the 82nd Airborne Division Paratrooper, his exceptional performances in keeping with the finest traditions of military service, and reflect great credit upon his work, and dedication to headquarters battery, 82nd Airborne Division Artillery, and 82nd Airborne Division in the United States Army. Give him a round of applause. Wow. Thank you, uh, sir, Captain Jordan. Thank you for starting kind. Uh, and thank uh, everyone that's standing in this formation for being here today. And especially a big thanks to my beautiful bride, Mrs. Mary Cherry, oh. and our youngest son, uh, Gage. So thank you again for all for being here. Uh, a couple things I would like to say. Um, since February 9th, uh, when I heard it started becoming something, uh, I started to think about what I would say and what I think was important to come out of what happened on February 9th. And it's something that you hear Captain Jordan speak on every Friday when we have these formations. And that is, you know, holding us accountable for our actions as much as our inactions. And when it happened, uh, I didn't do it alone. I want to I want to put that out there. There are two other soldiers that neither, all three of us never met each other in our entire lives. I was a Staff Sergeant James and a female corporal, I never got her name. But within seconds, I was so proud to see all of us within seconds, a blink of an eye, we all established a role to play in uh, helping the injured man. And I would like to say that that man is, uh, you know, recovering and doing very well. So, um, uh, you know, God willing, he'll get even better. But uh, big shout out to the medics. That's uh, one thing I definitely say, whenever it came to CLS, TCCC, going through AFCO and all that, I took that very seriously. Uh, it's very important on and off the battlefield. You never know when you might need it. You might need it for your spouse, your brother, your friend. You might need it. I mean, that's why we practice BRM, because we might need it on the battlefield. So that's very important. So can I get a round of applause for our medics, please? Yeah. Thank you, guys. And um, that's pretty much it. I'm not going to take too much more of y'all's time. But uh, again, thank you all for being here.